it, it's funny because when when I paint, uh, most of the times I cannot um, um, do it without adding some text to the picture to the to the painting. I always end up putting letters or, or words or whatever. But in, in photography, it's different. I, I kind of for some reason it doesn't it doesn't um, for me it doesn't work there. Is I think okay the image image is there, and that's that's enough to to, to send the message, you know. But uh, sometimes I'm reading something, writing something actually, and I get the image in my head and say, well I gotta shoot this. I gotta I gotta go on and set up what I'm writing and see it in my head. I wanna set it up and take a picture of it. So it works, you know. Influences the the both ways goes back and forth. You know we see things uh, the way, uh, in a different way than the rest of the people. Yeah, I, sometimes we'll, I'm walking with somebody and I say, oh, look, that, that looks great. That uh, that uh, wall, peeling off the paint of the wall, uh, it looks great. It looks like a really abstract and all. And people walk by it every day and they don't notice, most people. And But I noticed that in some of my friends involved in the art community. Same way, same thing, you know, they, they know, they understand because <clears throat> they see it the same way. So, yeah, you see beauty in a, in, in a, in a, a dead tree sometimes, you know, and it's, it's, it's there and, and once you work and, and work on that idea to try to show it to the rest of the people, see, okay, this is what I'm looking at. This is like I see, I want you to see it the same way I see it and that's that's, that's uh, what the artist does, I think.